hello guys and welcome to this amazing video and in this video we are going to be talking about how to conquer this bad guy <coughs> hey there if you are new to my channel i am anika a hundred level med school student and i post lifestyle vlogs and medical vlogs so please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also the bell so you get a notification from youtube anytime i post a new video so guys let's stop talking too much and like get straight into what we are here to discuss you don't worry stay calm i'm going to be spilling all the secrets i have on passing work excellently next point is super super important and that is get as much past questions as you can like these past questions are big i mean i use this for my own work and i found out that it is really really important i discovered that why i repeat lots of questions and a lot of questions and past questions and plus i'm going to tell you the plus side your boy is always going to tell you the plus side i'm going to tell you this single um plus side i have learned you can actually find out what areas you're bad at from doing past questions and once you do like for example you do a past questions and once you fail you're sure you're not really good at that aspect and you're really going to put in a hundred percent effort in that part in proportion to the parts you're really good at so basically you can use past questions to know where where your um, faults and weaknesses are so what is a plus from your boy i told you i'm going to tell you every single trick i know going to fail and that is start studying early i mean i still use this tip for a lot of exams i go into now why right? you can't start cramming nine uh nine or eight um subject exam in one week or two weeks to the exam that is like suicidal so i advise you to start studying early from the moment you know you're going to be taking this exam start studying early okay i'm going to give you a quick story to show you how early i've been studying for this exam when i entered senior secondary school i knew i was going to take this exam and i was probably going to take it earlier than i'm supposed to so i started studying from ss1 so you get me now so ss1 i started studying from ss1 but if you are already into it or one month to the exam one month is not late my dear start studying so guys for this next one which is use white syllables and recommended text like this point cannot be overemphasized i also said it in my how to get to 60 plus in jam video which i'm going to link up here and they said if you want me to do another video a remake of that i can also do that just tell me in the comment section so use recommended textbook and syllables right have its own recommended text so so does jam so using the right textbook will save you a lot of troubles and using wag syllables like it prevents you from reading outside the scheme of work because those are where the questions are going to be gotten from so you should start paying attention to those topics and start studying them at least be able to cover most of the topics there and as for me i'm sure you have probably been taught all your life in secondary school you have been prepared for this exam and most secondary school use a lot of wide past questions we don't really use jam but that is why jam appears to be a lot more harder but most schools use wide so you have advantage my dear so take your time out google these syllables and go through them make sure you cover as much topics as you can for my next tip i would say pray and don't be discouraged people are going to say lots of things people are going to say um they're going to even ask what's the use of you reading but i want you to stay focused you know what you want then be confident enough to pursue it focus on yourself focus on your education because in this race you are alone and you have to strive to get to the top Plus, pray because God is the only one who can grant all your heart's desires. So you should have faith in him and pray. And also don't be discouraged. Hey, hello there. This is me from the future. 
and I forgot to add an important point which is create a study timetable. The study timetable is very very important and I want you to take time off your day and create a timetable that works whether it's reading at least one hour a day or two hours a day just read and if in order for you to know if your timetable is working try practice questions and if you're able to do better than before it means your timetable is working so keep using that timetable but if it's not don't be afraid to try something new so creating a timetable is super important. this part of this video i want to say well done to you because this is actually good for my final tip i'm going to be spilling secrets that i'm sure people might not tell you but i'm still going to say it anyway so for this tip this tip is going to cover the practical aspect of the um wired examination for the practical aspect i'll advise you to like for physics for example i would advise you to go through the past questions and physics is being set in three um phases or three parts there's the electricity optics and mechanics so study as much practical of the past question and the calculations the calculations are very important you know how to plot graphs especially graphs for physics because we're going to be doing a lot of plotting of graphs and you can't escape that and for the chemistry you're going to be doing quantitative and qualitative analysis for the quantitative analysis i would advise you to go to your past questions and do all the questions on that quantitative analysis yes all of them from calculating the concentration of acid to base and whatever learn all the calculations there then for the qualitative analysis part that part i would just say you should just memorize all the observations and the inferences because it might give you some of the salt and from your observation you should be able to know what that is so that part might be kind of difficult but it is very very much possible and you're sure you're going to enjoy that aspect now for biology they are going to surely tell you the spacement or you're going to surely find out the spacement your teachers might even ask you to get the spacement for them so i advise you to study all everything you can under the spacement whether you're dealing with fruit you study the placentation and everything like but make sure you use the past questions because those white is surely going to either surely going to repeat once one or even more in fact they are surely going to repeat the practical aspect they don't change the um, calculation aspect or the practical aspect always have like a synchronized way so they are surely not going to change so much so i advise you to go through the past question and this also applies to whatever course you're going into or whatever uh, whether you're doing art or commercial um, commercial or social sciences too you should focus on the past question but don't allow don't allow the past questions cloud your um, reading pattern you should also read and do much past questions so guys those are some of the tips i have for you thank you so much for watching this video i love you all please if you like this video i would love you to click the subscribe button and the like button